knowledge of history and mathematics will enable the teacher to introduce a topic effectively. Anecdotes mentioned occasionally bring out healthy changes in the monotony of classroom work. Historical background of mathematics will enable the teacher to present it as a dynamic and progressive subject with full of human interest. Now, I am going to instruct about the contributions of Leon Paul Euler in mathematics. Leon Paul Euler, 1707 to 1783, he is called as a father of topology. Leonard Paul Euler, 15th April 1707, he did, he died 18 September 1783, was finding rich mathematicians and physicists who spent most of his life in Russia and Germany. He wrote 886 books in mathematics. Euler is the father of topology. Euler made important discoveries in the fields as drivers, as calculus and graph theory. He also introduced much of the modern mathematical terminology and notations, particularly for mathematics analysis, just as the notations of the mathematical functions. He is also renowned for his work in mechanics, optics and astronomy. Leonard Euler Leonard Euler was a pioneering Swiss mathematician and physicist who made important discoveries in many of the fertile fields of mathematics. He also introduced much of the modern mathematical terminology and notation, particularly for mathematical analysis, such as the notion of a mathematical function. Euler is considered to be the preeminent mathematician of the 18th century, and arguably the greatest of all time. He is also one of the most prolific. His collected works fill 60 to 80 really big books. There is a quote from the 1700s which states, Read Euler. Read Euler. He is the master of us all. Euler powerfully worked in all of the exciting and amazing fields of mathematics. Geometry, calculus, trigonometry, algebra, lunar theory, and some areas of physics. At the age of 13, he enrolled at a university and by 15, received his Master's of Philosophy. In 1727, he entered the Paris Academy Prize Problem Competition, where the problem that year was to find the best way to place the masts on a ship. He won second place, losing only to Pierre Bourguer, who is now known as the father of naval architecture. Euler subsequently won this coveted annual prize 12 times in his career. Three years after suffering a near-fatal fever in 1735, he became nearly blind in his right eye, but Euler rather blamed his condition on the painstaking work of cartography he'd been practicing. Euler's sight in that eye worsened so much that Frederick the Great of Russia would call him Cyclops. Here's a short list of things named after Euler. Though he was world famous and regarded as a genius, there were still moments when things didn't exactly go according to plan. Frederick the Great wanted to have a water jet in his garden. Euler calculated the force of the wheels necessary to raise the water to a reservoir. Euler contributions. Euler worked in almost all areas of mathematics, geometry, calculus, trigonometry, algebra, and number theory, as well as contributions physics, continuing physics, lunar theory and other areas of physics. He is a central figure in the history of mathematics. He printed his works, many of which are fundamental interests, would occupy between 60 and 80 quarter volumes. Island name is associated with large number of topics. Mathematical notation, f of x. He introduced the concept of functions and was the first to write f of x to denote the function f applied to the argument x. Trigonometric function. He also introduced the modern notations for trigonometric function. E, 
i summation n the number e for the base of the natural logarithm now also known as island number the greek letter summation for summations and the letter i to denote the imaginary unit the use of greek letter pi to denote the ratio of the circle circumferences to its diameter was also popularized by island although it did not originate with him analysis exponential expansion Euler is well known in analysis for its frequent use of development of power series the expression of functions as sums of infinite many terms such as e power x is equal to summation n equal to 0 to infinity x power n divided by n factorial is equal to limit n tends to infinity 1 by 0 factorial plus x by 1 factorial plus x power by 2 factorial and so on plus x power n by n factorial power series expansion Euler discover the power series expansion for e and the inverse tangent functions that means summation n equal to 1 to infinity 1 by n square is equal to summation limit n tends to infinity 1 by 1 square plus 1 by 2 square plus 1 by 3 square and so on plus 1 by n square is equal to pi square divided by 6 complex exponential functions he also defined the exponential functions of complex number and discover its relations to the trigonometric functions for any real numbers pi. Euler's formula states that complex exponential function satisfies e power i pi is equal to cos pi plus i sin pi or otherwise it's called e power i theta is equal to cos theta plus i sin theta. A special case of the above formula is known as Euler identity. e power i pi plus 1 is equal to 0 called the most remarkable formula in mathematics by Richard Feynman. For its single uses of notations in addition, multiplication, exponentiation and equality and single uses of the important ones in 0, 1, e, i and pi. Euler created the theory of hypergeometric series, Q series, hyperbolic trigonometric functions and the analytic theory of continuous fractions. Number theory, prime number. He found the formula for prime number x square minus x minus 41 is equal to 1 prime number. If we substitute the value x equal to 1 to 40, then we get the prime number, Messiah prime. By 1772, Isla had proved that 2 power 31 minus 1 is equal to 2147483647 is a Messiah prime. It may have remained the largest known prime until 1867. Torsion function. He also he invented the total function pi power n which is the number of positive integers less than the integers n that are co-prime to n. Using properties of this function, he generalized Fermat Lity theorem to what is known, known as Euler's theorem. Euler's interest in the number theory can be traced to the influence of Christian Goldman. His friend in the St. Peter's Academy, he proved that the sum of the reciprocals of frame diverses, Euler proved Newton identities, Fermat-Lewis theorem, Fermat theorem, and sum of two squares. In the geometry, he gave two remarkable aspects. That is, one is Euler line, and the second one is Euler circle. Graphic some bridges of Königsberg. In 1736, Euler solved the problems known as the sum bridges of Königsberg. The city of Königsberg, Prussia set on the Briegel River and included two large ice land which were connected to each other and the mainland by seven bridges. The problem is to decide whether it is possible to follow the path that crosses each bridge exactly once and returns to the starting points. It is not, there is no Euler circle. This solution is considered to be a first theorem of graph theory, especially of planar graph theory. B minus E plus F is equal to 2. Euler also discovered the formula v minus e plus f is equal to 2 relating the number of vertices, edges, faces of convex polyhedron and hence of planar graph. Applied mathematics f over 5. He found the symbol of f5 that is f5 is equal to 4294967297 is equal to 64 into 6700417. Music. One of the Euler's more unusual interests was the application of mathematical ideas in music. 
In 1739, he wrote the Tentamen Novia Thorofia Musica, hoping to eventually incorporate musical theory as part of mathematics, physics, and astronomy. Euler's Bernoulli's beam equation. Euler helped to develop the Euler Bernoulli beam equation, which became a cornerstone of engineering. His work in astronomy was recognized by the number of Paris Academy prizes over the course of his career. His calculations also contributed to the development of accurate longitude tables. In addition, Euler made an important contribution in optics. History of mathematics will help the students to adopt successful methods and avoid unwanted procedures, thereby one can save time and energy. Many are not aware of the benefits which one can probably gain from the study of history of mathematics, but once more, it is sure to become source of interest and pleasure of learners. I hope that all of us to understand the contributions of Euler in different branches of mathematics. Thank you.